Why is my oh that's right it's paused. <laughs> Oops. Uh welcome everyone back to oh shit. <laughs> welcome everyone back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. In this episode we're gonna be heading into the uh the granite cave here. We're talking to this guy here because he's not a trainer. Hey it's awfully dark guy, it'll be tough to explore. It's not safe to go alone. It's not safe to go alone. Take this! And he gives you HMO5, which you can't use outside of battle yet, which is Flash. So, basically what I'm saying here is we can't actually do this part yet, sorry. Because you're going to want to you get Flash uh, working outside of battle before you go into this cave. So what we're going to do first is... Oh, look! More Groudons! <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with you. I don't want to. Uh, there's more Groudons in this cave. At least this is an appropriate spot. You know, cave, Groudon, yeah. At least it's not like outside in the grass like before. And it's just Groudon in Paris. This entire cave. Are you serious? Is that. Are these the only two Pokemon assigned in this entire cave? Well, okay. No, I don't want to use my next Pokemon. Fuck that. Man. Uh, there's a C Dot here. I wouldn't mind using a C Dot. Let's use it. Nah, no, that's mainstream. Because everyone. Every, every other person uses Shift Tree. A Reggie Ice. No legendaries. I don't want legendaries. Uh, a furret. Hey, let's use a furret. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Hey, I'll use a furret. That's not a bad idea. Uh, being that I can't catch a. Uh, being that I can't catch it. Okay. Furret evolves from Sentret, and I don't feel that like there's no Sentrets in there. Oh, actually, no. I take that back. I think Sentret's one of the rare Jodo, one of the few Jodo Pokemon you can catch at the Battle Frontier. Uh, so I take that back. Maybe you can't catch it in this game. But anyway, before we can go, I need to find Pokeballs. What the hell do I get Pokeballs? There's no shop in this town. What? Uh. Well, it seems I can catch Pokemon for a while. Alright, I'm just gonna sweep this gym over here. I know where to go to, so that kind of sucks. But, uh, basically, this gym's pretty weird because it's like the ideal for Flash. It's all dark. And basically, to get through this cave, you don't need to get. Well, I mean, you don't need. You can't use Flash. But I mean, to get through this gym, you would need like. It looks like you would need Flash, and it kind of like symbolics itself is because to use Flash outside of battle, you need to go through this cave. You need to go through this gym. But uh, the reason that Shinigami is out is because Shinigami is a Ghost type, and Fighting type moves do not work on Ghost type Pokemon. And this gym, if you haven't seen from the Makuhita, and I think I may have told you before, is a fighting type gym. So, it's nice and easy. As you defeat trainers, a little bubble around you gets bigger. Uh, and I already found the leader, anyway. And, uh, if you battle everyone in here, it gets to, like, this, this gets to, like, a decent size. to where you can actually see where you're going. But there's no need for me to do that, because I'm just gonna sweep the gym leader. Once you finish the gym leader off, the thing just, like, only always opens up. Problem is though, in gyms you can't go through and rebattle trainers because once you beat the gym leader, all the trainers become unbattable. So it kind of sucks. So you should battle them uh, if you if you get the chance. You should, but I'm not gonna because I don't have ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I'm gonna send out Bobby because Bobby would be a nice addition. If I can just thunder shock everything and paralyze everything, <laughs> tightening its focus. If you if your attack misses or you use an attack that doesn't deal damage while the other Pokemon is using is trying to use focus punch or focus whatever. Uh, well, let me wait. Let me reword this. If you are trying to use focus whatever that is called, I don't know, it's focus blast, focus punch, whatever. If you're trying to use it and you get hit the same turn, you can't use it. So that means like if someone's gonna use Growl, if someone uses like an item or something, they're basically just crippled themselves. Uh, because then you can use it and it's a pretty strong attack. Let's send out Derp just for the shits and giggles. Why not? Uh, I can put that thing to sleep. Yeah, like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sending out Obsidian, even though it's the stupidest thing I've ever done. Uh, Mud Slap. Yeah, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna fall asleep. Mirror B, go. Oh wait, you've got a ghost type move. Who am I kidding? Oh wait, that's not gonna work. How much would nat nature powers a, sh a, sw a swift? I don't like that. Absorb is grass. Uh, might as well stick to that. I don't care. 
Vital throw. He's gonna keep using vital throw. As long as I suck. Okay. Uh, Willie, go. Willie, you in there, boy. You use that water gun. Vital throw. Vital throw it up. Vital throw that trash bag up. Bobby, it's up for you to you not to use tackle. Oh, it just hurt itself by using the punching you in the face with your static condition. All right, Shinigami, you last. I saw this coming a bit. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's be Brawly, yeah. Even though I lost half my team in the process. You got me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not doing a nose lock. And the gym opens up. It's a good thing I know that path. Uh, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. You can also use Flash outside of battle. Um, he also gives you the TM bulk up, which raises both your attack and defense. So that's nice. Uh, let me show you what the gym would have looked like. Uh, if you went right there, you would have battled the trainer. If you would have went down and went right over here, you would have gotten a double battle. Went straight down, you would have gotten a trainer there. Go all the way to the left, you would have gotten a trainer there. But I knew the path. I knew where to go. It's just like this. It's that path. It's just straight up. Just remember to go straight up, no turns. Now we can use Flash outside of battle, and that's nice. And we're already, we already beat the gym leader within the first six minutes of the video. That's nice. Some people, when they LP this game, spend like entire episodes. I know, I'm kind of rushing through this game. I don't know why. I just have this feeling. Uh... I don't think anyone can learn. Oh, Bob, 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 Bob can learn Flash. I know for a fact he'll learn Flash. Mirror B can learn Flash. Uh. Yeah, I can teach you Flash. I don't mind. Right, I can get rid of Growl. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. I don't think we need to be leveled up a fair bit. If only those Groudons exploded in there. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a guy right here. Uh, Fisherman. He's got a tentacle. I got a derp. This is not good. Uh, send out a, uh, you know, actually, Obsidian's part steel, so his poison type moves aren't going to work on me. Yeah, that's how it's done. Hurt itself in confusion. That's fine. Hurt itself in confusion. That's fine. Snapped out of confusion. Kill the tentacle. Derp is level 9. Hell yeah. Alright, we got to heal up quickly. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, but I need to, I think off screen, uh, next up, before next episode, I'll probably just grind somewhere, I don't know where. Just find a place and just start hitting up those trainers. Uh, da -da. You're gonna be a wild, whale, a wild whale lord. The evolved form of whalemer, wild. Uh, whale lords are all right. They're, they're, they're fine. I'm probably not gonna use whalemer up to that point in the game, but they're not bad. There's better, better things out there. And what I mean by, whenever I mean like better things out there, I mean like as of right now, um, like not as of right now, as in like if you're doing like a randomizer and my goal is to like have a, a very diverse team of people I don't usually see or use, then. I'll do that. But I mean, Whale Lord, I see all the time. I see Whale Lords everywhere. And it's an escape rope. Escape ropes will get me out of this cave when I'm ready. Uh, let's see. Why am I in the items? To use flash, you just flash. And that'll open up a bubble. And I can now see. Uh, Clam Pearl. Uh, it's, a, it's a water type thing. I should, I should catch that. I don't see a lot of people. No, wait, I can't because trading doesn't work. Never mind. I would catch it if I could use it to its best of power, but I can't because it won't evolve, and it's really not good until it evolves. Oh man, Bobby's got one experience. Uh, ignore that thing right there. <laughs> mm, let's see. This is a Remoray. I hate Remorades. Seriously. They, they ruined me before. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm fighting you. Get out of here. Come on, leave. Great, a Pokeball. I don't even think I had catching items to catch that, uh, Clamper if I wanted to. Caterpie! I want to catch that thing. Let's catch it. Let's catch a Caterpie. Uh, we got one Pokeball. Okay. I have to do this right. Nope. I fucked up. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this way. 
Uh, pseudo Udo, you can catch those in this game. Not gonna. Uh, Umbreon. Ah, uh, this one Pokeball better work. Because I want that Umbreon really badly. But I've only got one Pokeball. So this thing better work. I'm gonna go to Great Measures just to catch this Umbreon. Go to great measures. Come on. No, we're not getting the Umbreon. That sucks. I wanted that so badly, too. Okay. Uh, again, pseudo Wudos. Don't need those guys. Pseudo oh, God. I gotta quit spamming it. We don't need a pseudo Wudo. Oh, my God. Leave the battle. Uh, another Whalmer. Okay. All right, we're gonna die. Got one, X one HP. And it's a macho. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Oh wait, I don't know what this is up here. Oh my god, like a buskin. Hey, I don't need any of those. And I'm dead. Nope, not gonna. Can't escape. Okay. What if I send out this guy now? Can we leave? Click on this rock. You're never stoned. Oh look, Umbreon again. Hi, Umbreon. I would catch you, but I can't. Oh my god, I want to get through this cave. Oh no, Groudon. Run from the Groudon. Run from the Groudons! Run away! No! Leave us alone! Leave us alone! No! Devin, I went through like 12 Groudons just to see you. Alright, I'm Steven. Oh, you're not even the right name. I'm investing in rare. I'm investing in rare stones. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Yes! Take your letter. Oh, it's a birthday party invite. Oh, fuck this guy. You think this Steven guy, being great friends with this Devin guy, would have given him the match call thing, and he could have just called him instead of making me run the letter delivery. I'll give you this TM. It's Steel Wing. I don't think anyone on my team can learn Steel Wing. I want to become the champion of Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. Beep, beep, beep. Thanks, Steven. Thanks, Steven. I don't think anyone on my team could win Steel Wing. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, you can actually use your escape rope and get straight out of this cave. Which I'm gonna do myself. Boop. Alright. Uh, I'm not having this place. I'm definitely not having this dude for a town anymore. I wanna get to the next town this episode. We're gonna take the boat to the. We're gonna take the boat to Staleport. Staleport. I think that's, wait, isn't that the name? Slateport, shit. I'm butchering these names. Anchors away, Pico, we're setting sails. And now we head to the right. We couldn't do this, we couldn't do this before. If you didn't know, I didn't, I don't think I did anything. I just couldn't do this. Uh, oh, don't look at that. That was a boat, don't look at that. That wasn't, that wasn't there. Oh, look, Pokeballs, don't look at that either. Uh, we can't do any of this. Oh, right, we made it to Slateport, yay. Okay, there's gonna be a, a bunch of trainers on the beach. Like, more trainers than you should probably ever find. But I'm gonna dodge all the trainers. I'm gonna head straight up here to Slateport. Uh, I'm gonna get a call. Ro oh, hello, Tech. This is Roxanne from Rustboro. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up the ranks. That's incredible. Well, I'd rather not think of that. I can't beat you. I promise. I'll shape up my gym so that one day I can challenge you again. Hope you'll be looking forward to your occasion. Beep. Gym leader Roxanne. Uh, ignore that line. We're not gonna look at that yet. I'm right, gonna heal. There's no one in this Pokemon Center. Usually they're like at least three or four people. Uh, this town is actually pretty cool because it has a regular market and then one of this as this. This is the, uh, I always call this the farmer's market, but I know it's got a specific name. It's the, uh, Slateport, it's just market. Okay. You can buy some stuff here. You can buy, like, dolls for your secret bases. I'll explain what those are later. Um, energies, like, you know, we can, 
Here, let me explain what these are. Proteins, iron, carbo, zinc, calcium, HP, up, all raise a specific thing. So like, protein raises attack, defense, iron raises defense, carbo raises speed, uh, zinc raises special defense, calcium raises special attack, and the HP up obviously ups your HP. All these permanently raise those stats, so you can like overpower your Pokemon, even if they're underleveled. Oh, your slug mug, you have to work a little harder. You all give your Pokemon something nice. She'll give you a ribbon if your Pokemon likes you. Oh, look at this. Let's see what you can get around these parts. It's fresh and full of life. Why, it looks like I can even rear up and attack. Okay. I have the speaking capabilities of a four-year-old today. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we're going to go to the event of the shipyard. Uh, what did that say? Wanted. Wanted what? Wanted a sailor capable of sailing in all currents. Um... We're gonna head. That's where we need to go. But first, I want to head up here. Cause we did a lot of battle. We did. A, we fought a lot of trainers. We got a fair bit of money now. Uh, we can buy great balls, which are nice. I'm gonna use those instead. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I don't buy any potions. We can sell stuff now too. Uh, I don't want this Everstone. It's useless. Uh, this X stuff is useless. I don't use them. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna use bulk up. I can't really sell berries for much. You can buy more great balls. Actually, no, let's buy some Pokeballs, just in case. There's more chances instead. Uh, to the left here is the Pokemon Fan Club. Uh, I think the only one in here with interest, I think, is this guy. The chairman, the contest, he talks about contests. Uh, there are contests in this game. There used to be contest halls everywhere in this game in Ruby and Sapphire. But in Emerald, they took out the contest halls and replaced them with these battle tents because they had the battle frontier. And these battle tents kind of replaced a good part of the, a lot of fun in the game. Because I liked the contests. I thought contests were fun. They were very aggravating because the people were just douchebags in contests. But they were they were fun, nevertheless. I got a lot of ribbons on my Pokemon I still use now. I think at least my Blaziken or Quasar I still use on my team have contest ribbons. The name Raider's house. Pokemon nicknames rates. Uh, the name Raider will let you rename Pokemon. Uh, fancy there. Mm, this fat guy here, what does he want? I hiked over from Malvile. But boy, the city's huge. Yeah, I didn't expect you to be a hiker. <laughs> um, I guess don't judge a book by its cover. If you're probably looking for a ship, obviously there's no ferry service today. There's no ship. Uh, heading to the right here just leads you to a bunch of currents. There's really no purpose to even go there, but you can't go there yet anyway. Uh, so we're gonna head down here, and there's actually something I want to do before we end the episode. In here, there are three trainers. If you battle all three of these trainers and talk to the guy up top, right there, in the red, uh, he will give you a bunch of soda pops, and I want those soda pops because they're actually pretty helpful. So, and it's a good way to get experience. We're gonna actually battle everyone on this beach because we need to. Gr I want to grind. So next episode is gonna be a grinding episode. Wow, that did shit. <laughs> next episode is gonna be a grinding. Oh wait, Azuril, that's it's not a water type yet. Azuril is not considered a water type. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> it's got water type moves, so. The um next episode we're gonna do a lot of grinding, uh, just running around on the beach. Problem is a lot of beach Pokemon have water type Pokemon, so yeah, not gonna be fun. So we're just going to be wrecking with me or B. The next gym is a electric gym. So I was hoping that we could get some work in with uh, Obsidian here. But it's not going to work. Oh, wait. I want to show you guys something. This is cool. I don't think a lot of people know this. Um, I think you can do it. Can you do it in this game? I think you can. If you go... Because I know there's grass up here. Um, if you go up to grass and you use um, cut, what it'll do is it'll cut the grass around you. And so, if you really didn't want to encounter any wild Pokemon, you can just keep using Cut, and it'll clear out the terrain. Now, it's not permanently, like, so if I go into the Pokemon Center and come back, that grass will grow back, obviously, but if I do this, it'll be there again. You see? But I guess it's a way to, like, slowly but surely get through a patch of grass if you needed to very carefully. And I guess it's a good way to terraform to do, like, something to look nice make something look nice and see how there's like two little dinghies bobbing up and down under this tents right here yeah you can completely dodge them by going around them and just take their item items actually a trap you could just run up if you're a naive trainer you'd run up there towards the item and immediately get ambushed uh, this guy talks about uh, uh, trash on the beach nothing special uh, there's lots of double battles here on this beach as well 
so we're gonna do a double battle right now for the end of the episode. Mm, we're gonna do obsidian and dirt. All right, double battle. Let's see. We got a sailor. We got a wingle and a marrow. So the exact opposite of what we want. But that wingle's a water type, and we could poison that marrow. Or that wingle's a flying type. So I could throw a rock at that thing, and it would do fair. And I missed. The I missed. Uh. I guess Ember, but Ember's not gonna do anything. Okay, Derp's about to die. Uh, and I can keep Derp in there if that's the problem. Uh, right, we're gonna send him Bobby. Uh, t super effective. Uh, the uh, Obsidians, or Aerons, are very good in this game because. Oh, by the way, Wingles are quad weak to Lightning, but. Oh, shit. Uh, obs shit. Okay. Okay, game. Wingle use Growl, Thundershock will kill that Wingle, and Derp will go to a level 11. That's nice. Uh, Aerons are actually pretty good in this game. Oh shit. It's Whitston here. I had a match earlier. I managed to win, but it was close. Maybe he's going to put one up for an inspiring shot. Anyway, Aerons in this game are very. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good in the majority of the game. Especially when they turn to Aggrons, because Wingles and Pelippers are used a fair bit in this game. Uh, cause you know, like, cause Hoenn is an island air region. It's like a tropical region. So they're, 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 they are, uh, they're pretty, uh, you know, useful, common. And so, that a lot of people use them. But like, when we're in, when we get to like this point in the game, like over here, and I'd say here, uh, Aerons are just incredible. Ag and Agrons and Lairons are just incredible. Uh, but then they just become nerfed the rest of the game because it's all water everywhere for like an entire section of the game. It's just water. So Slugma is going to be getting a boot off my team um, probably by then. Hopefully by then. There's no grass or bugs, so really having a fire type in this region is completely useless. Uh, there's no grass type gym leaders, no grass type elite four, no bug type gym leaders, no bug type elite four. So fire is not worth it in my eyes. So I probably won't train a fire type in this area. I'll probably get like a psychic to replace him. And yeah, so I think next time with Pokemon Emerald Randomizer, we will be uh, grinding at the soda pop place. The, the, the one place where I wanted to battle three of those trainers. Then we'll be grinding outside. Um, probably not going to do a montage because I have the speed up thing now. That montage thing was like meant for like platinum where I couldn't speed up because I used Uh Now, uh, I think that, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, thank you all for watching.